Despite a litany of visa issues, the UFC Fight Night 70 card will still go on as planned when the promotion touches down at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino and Hotel in Hollywood, Florida, Saturday night. In the night's main event, former UFC light heavyweight champion and current top five ranked middleweight Leota the Dragon Machida meets Cuban wrestling standout Yoel Romero. Just two months removed from a high-profile loss to Luke Rockhold at UFC on Fox 15, Machida is eager to get back in the cage and erase the memory of his recent defeat. A must-see attraction since debuting with the UFC in 2007, Machida has always been a polarizing figure within the organization, often showcasing technical brilliance in his fights, but also showing a willingness to mix it up and go after the division's absolute best, both at middleweight as well as 205 pounds. His opponent Romero enters this fight on the strength of a five-fight win streak, with all five wins coming inside the UFC. A former Olympic silver medalist in freestyle wrestling, the Cuban-born fighter has spent a lot of time working on his striking skills at the famed American top team as of late, a skill that has proven effective as Romero has knocked out four of his five opponents inside the octagon. With both men ranked near the top of the division, a win would be crucial for either party if they want to remain a factor in the ultra-competitive middleweight pool. In the co-feature of the night, former Strikeforce standout Lorenz Larkin looks to improve on his near-perfect showing at welterweight when he tangles with tough Brazil 2 standout Santiago Ponzinibbio. A native of California, the 28-year-old Larkin impressed in the now-defunct Strikeforce organization, most notably beating current UFC champion Robbie Lawler in a fight at 185 pounds. After coming into the UFC fold following the purchase of his former promotion, Larkin would hit a rough patch, going 1-4 at 185 pounds, which nearly got him released from the organization and prompt to move down to 170 pounds. Now fighting at the more comfortable welterweight limit, the monsoon has already showcased massive improvements and a comfortability in his new weight class, as highlighted in his first round destruction of John Howard earlier this year. Looking to put an end to the hype is the Argentinian-born striker Santiago Ponzinibbio, after going 4-0 on Season 2 of The Ultimate Fighter Brazil, the 28-year-old would be forced out of the show's finale after suffering a hand injury. He would eventually be brought into the fold after making his debut at UFC Fight Night 32, but was tasked with taking on the then-undefeated wrestling standout Ryan LaFlair. Now having won his past two fights in impressive fashion, Ponzinibbio would strongly benefit from a win over a named opponent like Larkin in his first trip stateside. Also on the card, former hockey enforcer turned MMA standout Steve Bosse finally makes his anticipated debut when he collides with Brazilian striker Thiago Santos. Brazilian ace Hakran Diaz looks to move up the featherweight division rankings against Levon Makishvili, and a couple of former tough winners look to get back into the win column when Eddie Truck Gordon meets Antonio Carlos Jr.